Hey guys, and welcome back to the briefing room. Now, just yesterday, Titan Comics unleashed, unleashed, released, whatever you want to consider it, both are accurate descriptors, uh, the third issue of the new Robotech comic series. So, of course, I'm going to be talking about it. Now, in the first issue, I had some issues, or some problems, or whatever you want to consider it, with some of the writing. It, it felt... It felt rushed was the best word to describe it. And it kind of was because that comic covered two, what a sent the events of two episodes of Robotech. But I just, I was going to give it another shot. And in the second issue, the writing was much better. And I actually really enjoyed the writing. But there are a couple, uh, issues with the art that kind of bugged me. So, the question is, can this one be good on both sides at the same time? Well, let's start with the story. Again, the story only covers the events I'm going I'm going to say the events of the episode since they are going a different path. Eventually, they might not resemble the episodes at all, so I'll figure out what to consider them then. But basically, the events of the fourth episode is how I'm going to describe it. It's going to be it take it, it. It's the events of the long wait, and it, again, I think this is a good format. I think the one you know essentially one episode at a time is actually really working well in this uh, series. Uh, I have no complaints about it. It's, it added a few like funny, quirky things that weren't in the, weren't in the, um, in the show. And it's starting to get its own, like, its own quirkiness, its own character to it, separate from the show, which before, didn't really have that. It had some quirky moments, but it still was... It hadn't gotten its own character, its own feel yet. And it's really starting to get establish its own feel. So I have no issues with these... No significant issues with the story whatsoever. Um, it's... It seemed much more realistic, the progression of... Uh, Rick and Lisa seemed a little bit more realistic than you know in the show although I guess you know 14 days they probably could have gotten to that point 14 straight days of nothing but each other not not fun but um, it seemed it seemed like a more realistic uh, bonding period. Um, the art was pretty good. Uh, it's also starting to develop its own little quirkiness that goes along with the character of the story. So that was actually, um, that I, I had no complaints about the art either. So this episode, they did a really good job of just establishing, you know, Rick and Minmay's relationship really did a good job of um, covering the other parts of the stories that aren't really thought of when you think of the long wait. You mostly think of them down in the ship, but other stuff happens too. Um, they covered those things well, and it just and the interaction uh, at the end. The end panel was, or yeah, the end page, not the end panel. The end page was great. It really set up what's to come, and I'm very excited about that.
So, again, this one I will recommend higher than I've recommended the other two, and I recommended the other two a lot. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and look at the series. If you're on the fence because you didn't like the last two, give this third one a shot. I think it's the best one they've put out so far. And let me don't know down below what you think of the third issue and the series overall. Down in the comments down below, or you can tweet at me or participate on my Facebook. It's an open community, so have fun. Uh, as long as you're respectful, obviously. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.